What is going on everybody? Jacob here. For those of you who don't know, I am the broker team lead for Asperian & Company. We're a uh, real estate team that focuses primarily on uh, Durham Region real estate. And today's video update, we're going to be reviewing the market update numbers for Durham Region. Now, before I jump into this, as I always mention, please keep in mind, you guys, this is a general overview for all of Durham Region. Every single city, as well as every single neighborhood within those cities and all the different property types are going to have varying numbers from the numbers that we're going over. This is just a general overview. It's kind of a little snapshot to give you an idea as to what's going on with the real estate market around you. However, if you are interested to know more, uh, never hesitate to reach out, contact us. We offer free, no obligation market evaluations. But if you don't even want to meet with a real estate agent, you just kind of want to get a rough idea, uh, click the link below and it'll send you to an online request form and you get everything online. Obviously, the numbers aren't going to be as accurate, but at least it'll still give you an idea as to where your property values are uh, with you know going to the new year. So having said all that, let's jump right into the numbers. So with any given real estate market, there's three most important things you want to look into. Uh, first and foremost, you want to know what's happening with the inventory, the total number of listings. Uh, then you're going to want to look at the activity, all the sales taking place. And then most importantly, which is I think what most people care about is the average sales price. So when we take a look at these numbers, um, you're going to realize that my numbers are a little different than the region of Durham. And the reason for that is very easy to explain. Region of Durham compares past year to date to this year to date. So when you're looking at, let's say, November, they're going to look at January 1st all the way to November 30th, 2018, and you're going to compare it to 2019, which is a great way to kind of get an idea as to what's happening year over year basis. However, I also like to take a look at month over month numbers uh, because it takes seasonality into consideration. So I'm only going to look at J uh, November 1st to November 30th, 2018, and compare it to 2019. This gives us a much more accurate snapshot of what's happening this, uh, you know, this time of year, but both are very important numbers to know. So when we look at uh, total number of listings, we've actually seen a decrease of almost 12%, 11.5% less than listings uh, that came to market last year. We saw 1,044 new listings uh, come to market in Durham Region, uh, which is quite a bit less than the 1,179 we saw a year ago. So inventory has dramatically reduced at this point of the year. Uh, on the flip side, when you look at sales, we've seen an increase of almost 20%, 19.45%. We saw 872 homes sell in Durham region uh, in November of this year compared to 730 uh, at this point last year. So when you see that, when you see listings come down and activity pick up, you're going to notice a, a natural increase in average sales price, which is what we've seen happen. Uh, the average sales price came in at $611,872 for November of this year, while we were at $590,403 a year ago. So that's a 3.6% increase. Um, so what does this all mean? Guys, there's no way of predicting what's going to happen in the near future. However, from the looks of it, it looks as though buyer confidence has returned. Uh, inventory is still tight. A lot of sellers may be holding off, maybe because they believe they're going to get more money in the future. I'm not too sure about the reasons for that. Uh, however, it looks as though we're back to a seller's market. Our months of inventory is sitting at 1.6. If we, what, what does that mean? If you were to stop listing homes today and you kept selling at the current clip rate of what things are selling for right now, uh, how long would you have inventory for? And 1.6 is fairly tight. Actually, anything under four months of inventory is uh, deemed to be a uh, seller's market. So we're in a fairly tight seller's market as it is right now. Again, inventory does tend to slow down in, uh, in the winter months. However, maybe because the weather's been good, uh, activity is still kind of uh, fairly strong. Uh, moving into the new year, I do think we're, we've the days of uh, houses under $600,000 as an average sales price in Durham region is far gone now. I don't think we'll see those days ever again. And I do anticipate activity picking up even more because again, more people are understanding what a good deal Durham region is as a place to live, raise a family. If you work in Toronto, uh, the bank for buck, what you get living out here, uh, you can commute easier. You got the 407, the go train, all these kind of things are coming out. All that's going to do is make this more of an appealing place for people to live um, in the foreseeable future. So I do believe uh, we're going to keep seeing this current uptick. Uh, but again, there are a million one different things that can happen on a national and a global level that would affect us, but you know we have no you know, no say over that anyway. So uh, I do think we're going to see things continue to pick up. If you've got any questions when it's buying, selling real estate, or just want to know about a particular area, please never hesitate to reach out. Uh, I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas and you've enjoyed your holidays. Uh, we'll be coming up with a video very shortly talking about 2020 predictions. And as always, if you've got any questions, please never hesitate to reach out. Talk soon. Have a good one, guys.